Stanley, known as the Gateway to the Falkland Islands, is a captivating city on East Falkland, one of the main South Atlantic islands. Step into Stanley, and you'll enter a world of vibrant streets resembling an artist's palette. This remote city boasts colorful houses, a picturesque harbor, and breathtaking natural beauty, offering a captivating mix of history, culture, and nature. Together, in this video, we will explore the city's favorite culinary magic like fresh seafood, mouth-watering pies, crispy fish and chips, and hearty sandwiches. And Falkland Island's lamb. Discover the iconic Christ Church Cathedral, Port Stanley War Memorial, the Whalebone Arch, and many more exciting places with me. Join me on this journey and uncover the top 10 things you should know about this amazing city. Number 1. Population and History With a population of around 2,500 residents, the largest and the capital city is the only town on the island and serves as the administrative, cultural, and economic center of the territory. The city was established in the early 19th century as a British settlement, primarily serving as a military outpost during the colonial era. Number 2. Economy the economy of Stanley is based on fishing, agriculture, and tourism. Like much of the Falkland Islands, sheep farming is a significant part of Stanley's economy and wool production is a traditional industry. The port in Stanley is crucial for the fishing industry, with catches including squid and finfish. Tourism also plays a significant role, attracting visitors interested in the Falkland Islands' unique wildlife and natural beauty. The government operates under British law and has a locally elected legislative assembly responsible for domestic affairs. Number 3. Landmarks and Monuments Stanley, the capital of the Falkland Islands, may be a small city, but it boasts a number of famous monuments and landmarks that tell the story of its rich history and unique culture. Here are a few notable ones. Christ Church Cathedral. This iconic cathedral is one of the southernmost Anglican cathedrals in the world. Its elegant, red brick structure with a whalebone arch at the entrance is a symbol of Stanley. Visitors can climb to the top of the cathedral for panoramic views of the city and its picturesque surroundings. The Liberation Monument Erected to commemorate the liberation of the Falkland Islands from Argentine occupation during the Falklands War in 1982, this monument holds significant historical importance. It serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made during the conflict and the islanders' determination to protect their homeland. Government House The Falkland Islands Government House is not only the residence of the governor but also an architectural gem. Its imposing white facade and beautiful gardens make it a prominent landmark in Stanley. While visitors can't tour the inside, the exterior and surrounding gardens are worth a visit. Shipwrecks Stanley's coastline is dotted with shipwrecks, remnants of a time when the islands were an important stop for ships traveling around Cape Horn. These shipwrecks provide excellent opportunities for exploration and photography. Jetty Visitor Center It's located at the historic Stanley Jetty. It's a great starting point for learning about the city's past and the challenges faced by its early settlers. Gypsy Cove Although not a man-made monument, Gypsy Cove is a natural landmark known for its serene beauty and its significance as a habitat for Magellanic penguins. The Whalebone Arch, located near Christ Church Cathedral, the Whalebone Arch is an intriguing and historic structure made from the jawbones of two blue whales. It serves as a reminder of the island's whaling past. Number 4. Language The official and national language of the Falkland Islands is English. While English is the predominant language, you may also hear other languages spoken in Stanley. These additional languages include Spanish, Welsh, French, Portuguese, or Italian and various indigenous languages spoken by the indigenous peoples in the Falkland Islands, such as the Yagan and Selkana. Number 5. Governance The Falkland Islands have a strong British influence due to their status as a British overseas territory. The government operates under British law and has a locally elected legislative assembly responsible for domestic affairs. The predominant religion in Stanley and the Falkland Islands as a whole is Christianity. Number 6. Culture and Festival Stanley and the Falkland Islands host several festivals and celebrations throughout the year, reflecting a mix of cultural, historical, and community-oriented events. Some notable festivals and events include Falklands Day, June 14, Falklands Day marks the anniversary of the re-establishment of British rule in the Falkland Islands in 1833. Residents celebrate this day with parades, flag-raising ceremonies, and various community events. Liberal Carnival This lively annual event usually takes place in February and features carnival rides, games, live music, and food stalls. Remembrance Day On November 11, the Falkland Islands, like the UK, observes Remembrance Day to honor those who lost their lives in conflicts, including the Falklands War. A memorial service is held at the Liberation Monument in Stanley. 
Christmas and New Year. Residents decorate their homes and gather for festive meals and events and Christmas services are held in local churches. Number 7. Education. Falkland Islands Community School. This is the primary secondary school in Stanley. It provides education for students aged 11 to 16 and follows the English national curriculum. Due to the relatively small population, class sizes are typically small, allowing for personalized attention and quality education. After completing their secondary education, students often pursue further education in the United Kingdom or other countries. While there are no universities in the Falkland Islands, students have access to higher education through distance learning programs and scholarships for study abroad. Number 8. Climate. The city experiences a cool temperate maritime climate. Summers in Stanley, which occur from December to March, are relatively mild. During this time, temperatures typically range from 8 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius. It's the warmest period of the year, making it the most popular time for tourists to visit. Winters in Stanley, from June to September, are cool and can be quite chilly. Average temperatures during this season range from 2 degrees Celsius to 7 degrees Celsius. Stanley experiences relatively high levels of rainfall throughout the year, with the wettest months being from May to August. Stanley is known for its strong and persistent winds. Stanley's climate is influenced by its isolated location in the South Atlantic Ocean. It is also subject to the effects of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, which can bring cold oceanic air masses to the region. Number 9. Food. Stanley boasts a unique culinary scene that reflects its remote location and rich maritime heritage. Here's a glimpse into the delightful local food you can savor in this charming capital. Fresh seafood. The Falkland Islands are surrounded by pristine South Atlantic waters, teeming with seafood treasures. Squid, calamari. Squid is a seafood staple in Stanley, and you'll find it prepared in various ways, from crispy calamari rings to tender grilled squid steaks. Sheep's kidneys. They are often cooked with a rich gravy and served as a hearty dish. Tea loaf. Tea loaf, a sweet bread made with dried fruits soaked in tea, is a beloved dessert in the Falkland Islands. It's often served with a slather of butter and a cup of tea. Fish chowder. A warming bowl of fish chowder, often made with locally caught fish, potatoes, and vegetables, is a comforting choice on chilly Falkland evenings. Yorkshire pudding. As a nod to the British influence, you can find Yorkshire pudding accompanying many meals. These fluffy, golden brown creations make a delightful side dish. Number 10. Currency. The Falkland Islands have their own currency, the Falkland Islands Pound, FKP, which is tied to the British Pound, GBP, on a one-to-one -one basis. And that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw and learned something new, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up by hitting that like button. To stay updated with all my latest videos and never miss out on the fun, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. I love hearing from you guys, so please leave a comment down below. Whether it's your thoughts on today's video or suggestions for what you'd like to see next, your feedback keeps me motivated. Until then, stay curious and see you in the next one.